Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight we're honoring screenwriter Dalton Trumbo, whose life is currently being told in movie theaters across the country in a film called Trumbo, starring Brian Cranston. We just showed a film Trumbo wrote before he was on the Hollywood blacklist as one of the infamous Hollywood Ten, and that was a group of filmmakers called before the Congressional House Committee on Un-American Activities in the late 40s who refused to answer questions about their political beliefs. And for that sin, 10 of them, including Trumbo, were jailed for contempt of Congress. After serving jail time, Trumbo was still not allowed to work openly in Hollywood, so he moved his family to Mexico, and it was there that he was inspired to write this next film. It's called The Brave One. It was released by RKO in 1956. It centered on the world of bullfighting, based on a real boy who owned a bull who became a great crowd favorite. After Trumbo wrote the script, it was sold to the producing team of Maurice and Frank King. But because Trumbo wasn't allowed to have his name on a script, he instead used an alias, borrowing the name Robert Rich from a nephew of the King brothers. So the film was shot on location in Mexico. When it was shown in 1956, it was an immediate hit with critics and later with Academy voters. The Brave One ended up with an Oscar nomination in the category of Best Story, and it won. But when the name of Robert Rich was announced as the winner, longtime Academy executive Jesse Olasky came up on stage and announced that Robert Rich couldn't be present. Meanwhile, Dalton Trumbo was still living in Mexico, hoping that one day the blacklist would end and he would once again be able to work openly in Hollywood. And it took some time, but eventually that day did come, and history was finally set straight 19 years later. It was in May of 1975. The man who was then the Academy president, Walter Mirisch, presented Dalton Trumbo the Oscar for this film, with his name on the Oscar right where it belonged. So from 1956, here's the story of The Brave One.